Okay, hello there. So, I was asked a very fundamental question for today. Nakatulong ba ang karapatang pantao sa'yo bilang isang individual? Okay, so, definitely, yes, indeed, no, nakatulong ang pagkakaroon natin ng karapatang pantao. At ang bawat nilalaman, no, ng ating Bill of Rights under the 1987 Philippine Constitution ay dapat hindi lang sa ulado natin, kundi dapat ay isinasapuso din natin. So, by heart. No? Kasi nga, um, if you know your rights, no, you are protected whether to the government because the power of the government is limited and not absolute and also to any individuals as well. Now, basically, our Bill of Rights no, is a standard that allows us no, to live with um, dignity, to live with freedom especially, and to live with equality. No? So, failure to know your legal and constitutional rights no, is a failure for you protecting yourself no so kapag hindi mo alam ang inyong mga legal at constitutional constitutional na mga karapatan bilang isang mamayan bilang isang individual ay nagkakaroon ka ng naglabag din sa iyo no bilang isang tao o yung karapatan mo para sa sarili mo na ikaw mismo ay magbigay ng proteksyon sa iyo. Okay, so um, to simply put it pa, no, yung mga karapatang tao na meron tayo, um, we have the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Okay? And dito sa Pilipinas, um, nakapaloob ito sa ating 1987 Philippine Constitution. No? So, ang mga karapatang pantao na mayroon tayo ay pagkilala sa kahalagahan natin bilang isang individual. Uh, ito ay pagbibigay proteksyon at siguridad sa ating pag-iral. Kaya nga, sabi ko kanina, your failure to know your rights is you fail to protect yourself to any powerful force, no? Um, so, yung ating mga karapatang pantao ay sumasalamin, no? Sa mga mahalagang karapatan ng bawat ba mayang Pilipino. So, if my memory serves me right, no? Yung ating Article 3, the Bill of Rights under the 1987 Philippine Constitution ay may 22 sections, no? Okay, so ilan sa mga ito, yung pinakauna, isa sa pinakamahalaga, syempre, ay yung ating karapatan to equal protection of laws, no? The right to life, liberty, and property, okay? <coughs> we also have the right to be secure in our houses, in, in the establishments, no? Uh, meron tayong karapatan na magkaroon ng siguridad saan man tayo pumunta, no? siguridad para sa ating pamilya, siguridad para sa ating um, sarili, uh, which is very most important. No? We also have the privacy to communication. No? So, meron tayong karapatan na magkaroon access to um, communication, no? To other people, no? Because we are social beings. And also, uh, hindi rin pwedeng gamitin laban sa atin. Yung halimbawa, uh, meron tayong kausap sa phone, no? And it is being recorded and, and can be used against you, no? In the future, no? So, it's a big no-no. So, that is a part of our constitutional right as well. Uh, we also have the right to religion. Okay, so dito sa Pilipinas, as part of our constitutional right, no? So, we do not have any state religion, no? 
So whether you are a Christian, a Muslim, it is your right to practice your religious um the religious denomination, no? your own faith, yung sarili mong paniniwala at pananampalataya. Yan ay isa sa mga mahalagang karapatan na ibinibigay sa iyo bilang isang mamayang Pilipino. Okay? We also have the freedom of speech, expression, and the freedom to assembly. No? So, I myself, for example, I am a teacher, so ang aking mga views and opinions, especially sa loob ng klase, ay napakahalaga. Okay? Lalo tigit, madalas, no, kung ano yung sinasabi ng mga guro, ay talagang pinaniniwalaan ng mga mag-aaral na aming laging nakakasama o nakakasalamuha. But, um, for that, no, um, as part of our um, constitutional right, no? Um, every individual's views and opinions, no? Ay karapatan niyang i-express ito without any prejudice, no? Okay. Um, like, for example, if there are dissenting, you have dissenting opinions and views, no? So, you have the right not to be condemned or not to be bashed no, by, the, by the people no, around you. Pero let us consider then that with our every right comes a big responsibility. No? Like for example, no, you have this freedom of expression. Sige nga. Um, you can say what you want. You can tell anyone your views and opinions no kasi it's your freedom but let us be very careful no na dapat isinaalang isinasaalang-alang natin na wala tayong pinatapakan or wala tayong sinisirang kahit na anong um, individual no for that or any associations for our opinions and and views no and also um one of the important part pa no ng bill of rights that we have is the right of people to information especially if it is for public concern no so one example for that is the transparency board no the transparency bulletin board no for example in our school we have that kasi um that is an avenue for us, no, to be informed, to get informed, no, of the projects and the budget allocated for the whole school year, no. So, um, bawat individual, no, in our school community, whether it is a teacher, the administrator, the students, I may karapatan for that public access of that such kind of information especially ha especially if it is for public concern so here in Venezuela also we have um napa practice naman siya no um every year the local government unit no we have this um magazine no now for for the whole year round no the projects that is um, napatupad ng mga public officials, the councilors, the city councilors, the mayor, our mayor, no? Ay lahat nakalagay doon, no? So, um, the, the beatings, everything about our city, no? Ay doon nakalagay, no? So, lahat ng Balansuelanos, ay nagkakaroon, nabibigyan ng kopya nun. With that, no? So, na-exercise yung karapatan ng bawat individual to have an access, no? To such information, no? And also, we have the right to form union, 
um, association and societies and to become a member especially if that is of our um, same interest no like for example um, sa sektor ng mga kaguruan so mayroong mga partikular na grupo samahan na para sa mga guro okay at ako ay pwedeng maging bahagi pwedeng maging miyembro nito okay na hindi na pipigilan hindi na sasaklawan hindi na ko kontra ng kung sino pa man no like for example um for the faculty association inside the school no na nangangalaga din ng mga karapatan ng mga guro within our school no sila yung tumata yung representative no for the group of teachers the i also a member of the social studies teachers of the philippines no so that is also my right to become part of that association of that organization no in which um because i am a part of no um that association can give me a more holistic um, tawag dito development, no, when it comes to my professions, no kasi with, with that nahon din yung aking skills, yung talents, nadadagdagan yung mga learnings through seminars through workshops, no and um, kahit ang isang estudyante, no ay pwede rin ma-practice ang gantong uri ng karapatan no, sa eskwelahan you have the different youth organizations diba? youth clubs no? wherein you can be a part of okay, so malaya natin gawin iyon no? malaya tayo maging bahagi ng mga ganitong samahan no? pero syempre, as long as ang mga bagay na kinaaniban mo ay hindi rin naman dapat nakakasama sa iyo bilang isang individual at siyempre sa ibang tao. No? Bagkus dapat ito ay mas nakakatulong at mas napaguhusay ka okay? bilang isang tao. Um, we also have um, the free access to legal assistance and the due process of law. Okay? So, yung isa sa pinaka-favorite ko nun under the our class of Philippine Constitution, pinaka-favorite ko naririnig is that you have the right to remain silent. Okay? So, you should not be deprived uh, because of poverty, because you are in a marginalized sector, the access to legal assistance. Okay? So, that is, um, it's a big yes. Okay na dapat alam natin, no? Um, very recent lang, though, uh, though I'm not uh, against to the Tulfo, ha, the brothers, no? But I'm not really a fan of the Tulfo in Action program, no? Why? Because for me, I never violate yung constitutional right ng mga Pilipino, especially yung mga nandun sa programa no yung mga nasasakdal ika nga okay why kasi it violates your right to do to due process okay and who is he no to to give hatol or judgment for, for such no for such cases no yung pinakamainit nga ang isang kabaro ang isang guro I publicly, no, for 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 us, no, it was publicly humiliated by Mr. Tulfo because of his actions, no. So hindi siya dumaan sa tamang proseso, hindi kinausap ang mga tamang tao, and and that violates the constitutional rights we have. So that for me, no, is a very recent example no ng paglabag sa mga karapatang ta pantao na dapat ay ina-exercise natin as individual okay um, with that um, 
the airing of the the Tulpo program um, nakikita na ang mga some of the Filipinos may maybe they are not aware na teka lang na violate yung mga karapatan ng mga kapwa mamamayan natin no okay um aside from that uh, additional no um knowing our rights no yun nga give us the power eh the power to to stand firm and to protect ourselves and syempre um not to be violated no kapag alam mo yung karapatan mo mga karapatan mo your legal and constitutional rights no walang ibang pwedeng tumapak sa iyo at walang ibang pwedeng uh, dungisan, tapakan ang iyong pag-iral, ang iyong eksistensya bilang isang tao. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga kanina, no? Failure to know your legal and constitutional rights is a failure of protecting yourself. At bakit na buo ang Universal Declaration of Human Rights, for example, bakit ipinasok ang Bill of Rights sa ating konstitusyon because it should be the standard no that allows every individual to live no to live with dignity to live with um liberty diba? to live with peace to live with liberty and also to live with equality no and for that no talagang nakatulong ang karapatang pantao hindi lang sa akin bilang isang mamayan kundi dapat para sa lahat so dapat you should be um, aware no of your rights yung karapatang pantao nasusulat nandiyan yan no pero dapat alam mo ano nilalaman nito para magsilbing gabay mo para makatulong sa iyo di ba um, ignorance excuses no one so that's all